Hello everyone, Mark here, and if you never want to use body shell clips on your RC vehicles again, stay tuned, watch this video, and I will show you exactly how I did it to this one. Hello everyone, Mark here, and today I'm just going to do a quick, simple video on this Traxxas E-Revo VXL. Basically, I'm going to be taking off these body pins and doing away with them and never having to use body pins on this vehicle ever again. Now this method will also work on many other RC ground vehicles. Now as we all know in this hobby we're just constantly losing um, body shell clips because they just come flying off they get bent all over the place and what I might actually do I'm going to leave a video in one of the corners just showing you one of the reasons why we lose these body shell clips so like i say i'm going to do a little mod that's going to stop us ever having to use body shell clips on this vehicle now i like to get these little um, tabs for my body shell clips because it does make removing them very quick and very simple but like i say i'm going to actually do away with them and never have to use them again and the mod is very very simple all you're going to need is some industrial strength velcro now you want the original velcro and it needs to really be the industrial strength uh, so basically industrial strength uh, sticky back adhesive with double hook and loop system and this thing is very strong i've been using this kind of method on my little girl's truck for a few years now and it's worked really well so i thought i'd actually try it on the uh traxxas mini revo so all we're going to need to do we're going to need to apply some velcro strips to the chassis and the body shell um, and i've got some pre-cut pieces here just for thought it'd make it a little bit quicker under video now hopefully this video is coming across okay uh the video quality should be okay it's just whether the audio sound is coming off or what uh, basically i'm using a new setup today i've just picked up a uh mobile phone handheld gimbal and i've stuck that on my tripod so we're going to actually see how well that works i might actually show you what i'm actually using so what we need to do we need to just literally peel this adhesive off and stick it down to the body let's stick it roughly about there no it's not going to look great but at the end of the day guys this is a bashing vehicle last thing we're going to be worrying about is what a little bit of velcro is looking like on it so let's do that now this adhesive takes up to 24 hours to fully cure and stick um but for the sake of the video we ain't gonna wait 24 hours i'm pretty sure it's gonna hold on good enough for this video and what i might actually do i'm probably gonna put a bit of velcro up here as well but just a tiny little bit and i won't do that in this video because like i say for little small pieces of velcro like a centimeter squared that really does need to stick 24 hours before you start peeling it on and uh, peeling it on and off so what we do is just work on the body and this stuff is very strong anyway chances are what I'm using right now is going to be strong enough anyway so it's just stick it down and like I say even though I'm doing this on the Traxxas VXL Mini E-Revo this method will work for many other vehicles I have tried it on other vehicles um, and it does work as long as you've got a surface to stick the velcro to it will work so let's just stick that on now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut the video here just for five minutes just to let this stick and then i'll actually put the body shell on and then we will remove it and we'll put it for a little bit of a test see how well it actually holds up okay then so I've left the Velcro to just stick to the vehicle for about five to ten minutes just to let the adhesive dry a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to put the body shell on. So let's put the shell on. Press down on the sides. And that is it. Job done. So they're the body clips. I'm not going to be needing them 
for that vehicle no more so i'm gonna put them up there and like i say guys just because i've done it on the traxxas mini vxl e revo uh you can do this method on many other rc vehicles as long as as long as it gives you the placement areas to put the velcro this method will work perfect and make sure you get the industrial strength branded velcro with the double hook and loop system so let's quickly test this out so obviously as you can see there that front even though i've only applied the velcro to the sides at the moment but i will be applying some to the back the front that's not going nowhere and there's no wobble the rear not going nowhere no wobble and then obviously them sides are properly stuck on i can lift up the vehicle i can shape the vehicle just like so can lift it up from areas that have not been stuck and like i say that is well stuck on there I'm very happy not going to be losing no more body clips <laughs> on this vehicle so like i say guys that is it for this video i wanted to keep it short and sweet and just do this little tip on video to show uh, to share it with you guys because it is very handy and sometimes the little basic tips and tricks are the best so if you thought this video was helpful and interesting, please do smash that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and please hit that bell notification button as well. But most of all, guys, thank you very much for watching. Happy RCM. Take care. Bye-bye.